WWE, Brock Lesnar wouldn't be Brock Lesnar today. So Brock Lesnar made a right decision in leaving the WWE to make a name for himself in the UFC and MMA world. He comes back and he's a bigger star than ever before. The Rock leaves, does the same thing, uh, goes from wrestling into movies and makes millions of dollars. And now is a multi-million dollar movie star who recently came back to solidify his legacy by defeating John Cena at WrestleMania 28, defeating CM Punk and ending his 434-day legendary reign, the longest reign in the last 25 years to win his eighth WWE Championship. So The Rock versus Brock Lesnar now will be just as good, if not better, uh, than it was 12 years ago with the names they have both established in professional wrestling and outside of the professional wrestling business within entertainment. I think it will get a lot of publicity. I think the buy rates of the pay-per-view the match would happen on, either WrestleMania, SummerSlam, Survivor Series, Royal Rumble, what have you, I think the buy rates of the pay-per-view the match would happen on, even if it isn't WrestleMania, will go through the roof. The ratings of WWE television programming will go through the roof every time The Rock and Brock Lesnar were on WWE Raw or SmackDown to promote uh, the match they will be having. I think there will be a lot of conversation on social media. Only good things can happen. Uh, from The Rock versus Brock Lesnar, which is why I'm really for uh, this match before I was ever for CM Punk versus Stone Cold Steve Austin or Sting versus The Undertaker. Uh, right now, this seems to be the most likely match that we will see of a recent dream match that could happen that's been recently talked about uh, with how The Rock kind of makes periodical appearances now on WWE television. The last time we saw him was on January 11th on an edition of Monday Night Raw, and the last time we saw him on a pay-per-view was at WrestleMania 30. And I thought The Rock's return would have happened by now, but I guess with everything going on with his new movie, Hercules, which he has the lead role in that's been talked about a lot uh, on entertainment radio programs and entertainment television programs, everybody's been talking about this new movie, Hercules. So The Rock has a lot going on and a few other projects that he has to attend to. He has prior commitments. Uh, so I think that best match has been put off because of that reason and because Brock Lesnar obviously was not uh, WWE World Heavyweight Champion, but now with Brock Lesnar coming off a victory over The Undertaker and defeating John Cena recently to win the title at SummerSlam, something that should have probably happened long before now. I think the time has never been better to have this match, especially with how 2014 is coming to a close. And with The Rock being on the cover of WWE 2K14, it is time now more than it ever has been to bring The Rock back with the up-and-coming release of WWE 2K15 coming up in October with John Cena on the cover and some fan art covers, which look absolutely phenomenal if you Google WWE 2K15. Really disappointed we didn't see The Rock uh, in 2014, but that does not mean we will not see him in 2015, which will probably be the time The Rock will reemerge in WWE because he still has that rematch, which he never did get for the WWE Championship, obviously because of some prior commitments. Having The Rock come out joining Stone Cold Steve Austin and Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania 30 was fun. The Rock came out and said that it was fun being a part of WrestleMania for many years and being a part of the 30th anniversary of WrestleMania. And it was a true WrestleMania moment when all five of your bodily senses were on fire. The taste, the smell of WrestleMania he loved. Uh, being a part of WrestleMania for all those years that he may have invented. WrestleMania with Triple H and Stone Cold, Steve Austin, Hulk Hogan, John Cena. And he loved being a part of WrestleMania 30 just as much. But I think that having The Rock come out at WrestleMania 30, if The Rock was going to have anything to do with WrestleMania 30, he should have competed, especially after he said uh, that he was never, ever going to go away again, and this was only the beginning. Remember when The Rock was on the cover of WWE Magazine in early 2013, and the tagline of him being on the cover of the magazine was this was only the beginning. I think that tagline had its purpose completely defeated because The Rock came back and then he left again in the words of John Cena. John Cena has been making some pretty accurate statements uh, in some of his assumptions as of late in promos, and they've been very accurate, and some of them have been uh, very direct, in my opinion. The Rock said he was never going to leave again, and he left again. And I think the best way of bringing The Rock back now would be giving an opponent like Brock Lesnar for the championship. And because Brock Lesnar uh, is the champion now, that opens up the door for a lot of potential returns. If not The Rock, uh, Dave Batista. Something interesting about Brock Lesnar when he returned uh, in 2012 was there was a list actually released of potential opponents uh, Brock Lesnar could have. Some of them were Randy Orton, Kane, uh, The Undertaker. Interesting suggestions for opponents uh, for Brock Lesnar other than John Cena. A couple of the predictions came true. We saw The Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar. Uh, we've seen uh, Brock Lesnar versus John Cena, which was a suggestion to eventually happen. Uh, but a lot of the predictions have not come into fruition yet. And I would love uh, to see more than two or three of those predictions off of that list uh, come into fruition. I would give anything. Uh, at this point to see Brock Lesnar versus Randy Orton, even with how little they're doing uh, with Randy Orton's character right now. Putting him in a feud 
with Roman Reigns. It's only putting over Roman Reigns as a future WWE champion or top contender. It's doing nothing for Randy Orton. And I would love to see Randy Orton turn his career around in a few with Brock Lesnar, where Randy Orton was possibly the fan favorite when Brock Lesnar uh, was the heel character. I would love to see Brock Lesnar versus Dave Batista. Dave Batista, more than enough, has issued the challenge uh, to Brock Lesnar. And now that Brock Lesnar is champion, some of these predictions that were made two years ago could finally come into fruition. We could see some of those predictions off of that list becoming a reality. And with Sting coming back to professional wrestling and coming to WWE for the first time ever, the Undertaker-Sting match has a chance of happening as well, as well as Sting versus Brock Lesnar has a chance of happening. Can you imagine if Sting fought Brock Lesnar if we didn't get The Rock versus Brock Lesnar for the first time in over a decade. The thing is, the reason why they're putting off The Rock versus Brock Lesnar a lot is not just because The Rock has a lot going on uh, in the entertainment business with Hercules and a lot of projects outside of WWE just as Brock Lesnar does, but the thing is, The Rock versus Brock Lesnar has happened before. It's deja vu. Uh, in the words of CM Punk, another accurate assumption made in a promo by a WWE new talent superstar. It's deja vu, The Rock versus Brock Lesnar. If this was happening, it would be based on redemption of The Rock previously losing the title to Brock Lesnar before he left for six months of absence in the WWE and didn't return until February of the following year in 2003. And how long was The Rock back for? Four or five months before he left, losing to Goldberg in another dream match that didn't live up to the expectation? A wrestling fans. Another question that can be asked is would this match live up to expectations like the Goldberg Rock match was an absolute blowout. Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg which was another absolute blowout from WrestleMania at double X. Uh, would this match live up to the expectations of wrestling fans with how good The Rock performed in the ring with John Cena and how good of a chemistry they had? I think The Rock can deliver just as sufficiently against Brock Lesnar, but it will take time for The Rock and Brock Lesnar to kind of coexist. They may have been able to do it 12 years ago, but with the egos overflating, in my opinion, inflating a lot, would The Rock and Brock Lesnar be able to coexist? And would they be able to come to terms in an agreement for a contract? That remains to be seen, but I think they can do it, and they can give us a dream match that we'll talk about for years. This match will leave images was still in the minds of a lot of wrestling fans that they will not forget. I know I will not forget uh, the images of The Rock versus Brock Lesnar. What is my prediction uh, for this match? I'm going with The Rock, and the only reason I'm going with The Rock is because I think because of the size of The Rock and the popularity of The Rock, The Rock has been designated. He's going to be that guy who's given the distinction, if it's not given to The Undertaker, who was recently defeated by Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 30, with Brock Lesnar becoming the one to go 21-1 and one against The Undertaker. If it's not given to The Undertaker, I think The Rock has that distinction reserved for him to be the man to take out Brock Lesnar for a few months before we ever see Brock Lesnar reemerge in the WWE or regain the championship. If it's not for the championship, I would accept it too, but I think The Rock is going to be the one to take that title away uh, from Brock Lesnar. It may be a bit of a bold prediction, but really, with The Rock and Brock Lesnar's history, you can't go wrong with this match in terms of pay-per-view buy rates, social media conversation, ratings for television, everything, merchandise sales. It would all go through the roof if The Rock and Brock Lesnar fought and The Rock defeated Brock Lesnar. And now I can see Brock Lesnar defeating The Rock. I really can see that uh, with how dominant Brock Lesnar has been over the past few months. He's been on a win record, uh, a win streak as of late. He's been defeating everyone from The Big Show to CM Punk to The Undertaker. Nobody seems to be able to stop Brock Lesnar. So Brock Lesnar does have a chance of winning this match, probably more than any other superstar you could put in the ring against The Rock. But with The Rock coming back for the first time since 2013's loss to John Cena at WrestleMania 29, the chances of The Rock winning this match are far greater than Brock Lesnar defeating The Rock with the win streak that Brock Lesnar has been on since losing a few matches to John Cena and Triple H a number of years ago. Brock Lesnar didn't seem to have anything going for him when he first returned for the first time in eight years in 2012 after his Extreme Rules match with John Cena. But he's redeemed himself by defeating John Cena earlier this year at SummerSlam for the championship, which is something he didn't do back in 2012. And really, I wouldn't care if the match was for the championship or even if it wasn't for the championship. I just want to see this match happened with how much conversation we have heard about The Rock versus Brock Lesnar. Now, there was a video posted on YouTube of The Rock and Brock Lesnar's confrontation from January 11, 2014. If I find the video for you, I will throw it up for you on our Facebook page at HEW Entertainment on our Twitter at Jonathan Clark one and I want your comments. You've got to get in on the conversation of this because it is awesome. The Rock versus Brock Lesnar is a match for every wrestling fan. There you see the tagline in the graphic 
we're using for this week's YouTube video on our YouTube channel for our video blog at Jonathan Clark 22. It is a dream match for every wrestling fan. The Rock versus Brock Lesnar, just as Sting versus The Undertaker. You may say Sting versus The Undertaker or a match like Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar was a match that could be or was supposed to have been a match for every wrestling fan. But I really believe The Rock versus Brock Lesnar because of the magnitude of this match and the popularity of both superstars because no matter if you like them or you don't, Brock Lesnar does have a fair amount of WWE fans in his corner. I mean, look at all the fans who wanted Brock Lesnar to destroy John Cena at SummerSlam. Nobody expected Brock Lesnar to get the reaction that he did. 19 suplexes to John Cena. Phenomenal. Nobody expected Brock Lesnar to get the reaction that he did at WrestleMania 30 when he shockingly defeated The Undertaker. Brock Lesnar has more fans out there, surprisingly, than a lot of top names in WWE. He has more fans than a CM Punk and Alberto Del Rio with Sheamus. He has more fans than any top name in WWE over the years, surprisingly, because of his reputation previously in early years of his career in wrestling and in the UFC after being the UFC champion and dominating in matches against Randy Couture in the Octagon. I mean, anytime you can do that, you're going to have fans regardless if you're a hand favorite or you're a heel, and Brock Lesnar has his fan base out there are a lot of people around the Brock Lesnar fan wagon, so to speak, now, and I think because of that, that's going to be a big reason why Brock Lesnar's reign as champion is prolonged and doesn't almost immediately come to an end. A lot of people believe that Brock Lesnar's reign as champion, what's funny about Brock Lesnar being champion now, a lot of people believe that Brock Lesnar's reign as champion is going to unfortunately come to an unexpected end and last no time because Brock Lesnar is never there. I've heard a lot of people say this in their video blogs and for their written columns on the internet, but the thing is, The Rock dropped the title two months after winning it, 60 days after winning it because he was going in to WrestleMania 29. He had a lot of projects and prior commitments outside of the WWE like The Rock always does. It's The Rock. The Rock is not guaranteed to be there for a substantial amount of time. The Rock is there to promote something, get in and get out. We're talking about Brock Lesnar, the conqueror, the UFC champion, the man who went in the octagon and dominated against Randy Couture and some of the top names in the UFC and was champion forever. We're talking about Brock Lesnar, a man who has defeated Hulk Hogan and The Rock in previous matches in earlier years of his career. He's gone up with the best of them. He's a conqueror. He's someone who wants to be on top. He